Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. This is the final part of chapter 10. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the regression line using the least square method, interpret the regression coefficients a and b, and how to produce y equals to a plus bx using the regression line. Just before we start, please watch and learn from any of these videos how to use your calculator for this chapter. You may press the link in the description box below. If you're already done, please continue learning this lesson. Example 1. The summary of annual expenditures Y in RM1000 for 8 towns consisting of different numbers of families X in 100 is as follows. The first question, obtain the equation y equals to a plus bx and interpret the value of b. The second question, estimate the annual expenditure for a family living in a town consisting of 6,000 families. 8 towns, the number of pet observation x and y is equals to 8. From the given information, we are left of summation of x and summation of y. We have to find the summation of x using the given mean of x. We know that the mean of x is the summation of x divided with n which is equal to 112.5. Cross multiply 8 and our summation of x is 900. Repeat the same step to look for the summation of y. And the summation of y is 1829. We're going to substitute n and all the summation into coefficients b formula. And b equals to 1.9521. Our b here is positive. If B is positive, Y increases by B unit for every 1 unit of X increases. Therefore, we can interpret as the annual expenditure increases by RM1952 ringgit and 10 cent for every increment of 100 families. To find coefficient of A, we're going to substitute the mean of Y coefficient of b and the mean of x into the formula and our a is 9.0138 now substitute coefficient a and b into y equals to a plus bx and our regression line is y equals to 9.0138 plus 1.9521x for the second question, you should pay attention to the scale or unit of x and y. As for x, the independent variable or the number of family is measured in 100. So we're going to divide 6000 with 100 and we get x equals to 60. We simply substitute 60 into the regression line and y, the dependent variable or the annual expenditure is 126. 0.1398 Since the scale or unit for y is in 1000 ringgit, so multiply with 1000. Then we're going to get the annual expenditure is RM 126,139.80 cent. Example 2 the following table shows the result of an experiment where 8 similar plots of land were given different amounts of water in centimeters and the resulting yield of paddy in tons per acre was recorded for each plot. The amount of water X and the yield of paddy Y. The first question, find the equation of the regression line of y on x in the form of y equals to a plus bx correct to three decimal places. The second question, interpret the coefficient of your regression line. And the third question, 
What would you expect the yield of paddy to be for a plot where 70 cm of water was added and for a plot where 190 cm of water was added? The last question, comment on the reliability of the results gained in C. Eight similar plots means our N is 8. Using your calculator, find all the summations. The first question, we're going to form a regression line. Now, substitute your N and all the summation into coefficient of P formula. And coefficient of P is 0 0.031 correct to 3 decimal places. Next is to find the coefficient of A. Substitute the summation of Y coefficient b, summation x and n into the formula and our a is 3.611 correct to 3 decimal places and the regression line is y equals to 3.611 plus 0.031x the second question is interpret your coefficient of regression line. Coefficient of A is 3.611, which is the y intercept. x equals to 0 means x is the amount of water. When there is no water added, y equals to A unit. y is the yield of paddy. The yield of paddy is 3.611 tons per acre. The coefficient of P is 0 0.031 and it is a gradient and our gradient here is positive. So we may interpret as if Y increases by B units means the yield of paddy increases by 0 0.031 tons per acre. For every one unit of X increases means for every one centimeter amount of water added. For the next question, we are going to use our regression line to do some expectation on 70 cm and 190 cm of water added. X here is already in the correct scale or unit, which is in centimeter, so there is no need any change on X. For X equals to 70 cm water added, just simply substitute X equals to 70 into the regression line and the yield of paddy is... 5.781 tons per acre. Same goes with x equals to 190 centimeter water added. And the yield of paddy is 9.501 tons per acre. The final question comment on the reliability results gained in the previous question. Another word for reliability is validation. Thus, our data is valid. Let's take a look again on the data given in the table. X equals to 70 and Y equals to 5.781 is within the range of our data set compared to X equals to 190 and Y equals to 9.501 which is outside of the range of our data set. So we can say interpolated value of 70 cm is more reliable than extrapolated value of 190 cm. Just before we end our lecture, please do this exercise. Thanks for learning. Stay safe everyone. Teacher One signing off. Assalamualaikum and bye-bye.